I know, I can hear the comments right now. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I can hear the comments right now. I haven't even posted the video, but by the time you're seeing this, you've already watched my last video and I can hear the comments saying you didn't show the hair and I purposely did that. I'm sorry. I purposely did that because I wanted you guys to see my hair the way I wanted to see my hair. Andrea did an amazing job. If you guys are interested, I will leave her Instagram down below. I contacted her through DM and she was super accommodating. She's amazing. Um, that was the quickest haircut of my life. It was super quick. She was so understanding of like everything I wanted. I'm a very specific detailed person. Um, when it comes to my looks and things that are quite permanent like haircuts or nails aren't that permanent but it's like it symbolizes who I am like physically on my body I get very like very nitty gritty so she was super accommodating very understanding totally knew what I was going for I feel like she just understood what I was looking for not to say that I didn't like the way she styled it she just blow dried it because Obviously, she was telling me that everyone doesn't curl their hair anymore. Everyone wants their hair blow-dried. But she blow-dried it, and it was great, and I loved it. But I want you guys to see my hair the way I'm envisioning my hair. So I'm going to do my hair today, and then I'm going to show you guys. I promise. I promise. I promise. Of course I want to share this with you. It's like a big deal. Like, it's a big change. It's a different Michelle era. So, of course, I'm going to share with you guys. I need to run some errands first, though, because today we are actually going to Kim's. Um, Maiden and I. Maiden starts school again next week on Monday. He goes back to school. This is his second fall semester. So we are celebrating um, one, Carlos being able to eat, and two, the end, it's not a celebration, but the end of Maiden summer break. And just kind of, you know, technically school starting means that fall's coming in and just all of that. And we all like hanging out together. So we're going over over there, but I need to go grab some Korean barbecue ingredients because that's what we're doing today. And I don't know if I specified this in my last video, but I did not tell anyone about my haircut. I told everyone a lie. I said I was meeting up with a friend and nobody knew I was getting my hair cut. So I actually got a reaction of my mom seeing my hair and my brother seeing my hair. Um, and it was really funny. So I'll add those in right here. What? Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Yeah. 10 inches. Really? Yeah. What do you think? Can you Can you Yeah. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. You cut out your hair? When? Just now. Oh. I cut off 10 inches. I like it. You like it? Yeah. You guys are probably wondering where my dad's reaction is. My dad doesn't care. You know, like, he was just like, oh, cool, you cut your hair. Great. Um, but another person that doesn't know is Kim. Um, Kim doesn't know and she has been so so she I remember I brought up I think I'm gonna cut my hair like a year ago maybe and she was like oh my god you should do it she's been wanting change for me she's like I love your hair I love your long hair of course but she's always wanted to like see shorter hair on me and now that so shorter hair is also a trend I just didn't want to cut my hair because everyone else was cutting their hair I also didn't want to cut my hair because my best friend thought that it was gonna be okay because I knew if I did something that irrational um 
I was gonna hate myself. I just didn't want to make a mistake because it was trendy or because someone else said it was cute, you know, and it was a big deal for me. Like cutting my hair is not something that I take very lightly. So she has no idea and I've been bugging her, especially this last like month or so. I've been like teasing her. I was like, oh, I'm looking for a hairstylist. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna cut my hair. And then I was like, oh, I found a hairstylist. And then she was like, did you book? Because I was talk I told her I was talking to Andrea. And then I was like, oh no, I canceled it. I don't think I'm gonna cut my hair. And so the other day when I was leaving her house, she was like, just this much. She was looking at the back of my head and she was like, just like, these three inches just the ends to clean up and make you look clean so she has no idea that I not only cut my hair but I cut 10 inches of it off so we will see what she says my mom didn't get it at first but that's because I had the camera in front of me so I feel like she couldn't really figure out what was going on and then my brother I had to point to it for him to get it I think Kim will get it. Kim is very observant. We are both very observant. So I would be surprised if she didn't figure it out. But I'm going to like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the camera down and then I'm going to have her like, I'm going to be like, oh, come say hi to the vlog. And then I'll put my hair down because I'm going to walk in like this. I'm styling my hair, but like right before I walk into her house, I'm going to pin it up. And then um, right when I walk in, I'm going to set up my camera and be like, oh, just come say hi to me real quick and say that we're here. And then I'm going to pull my hair down and see what she says. I don't know. Hopefully I even get this whole styling thing right because I have an image in my head. I just don't know if it's going to work out. I'm going to use my Dyson. I'll, I'm not going to do like a this is how I do it because this is honestly my first time. I couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited to style my hair. This is my hair, you guys. This is it short. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, but I'm going to blow dry it the way that I want to style it. This is my hair. Um, I had to put my pajama shirt back on because everything I own is black. But this is what my hair looks like. I used my Dyson to blow dry. It was a process trying to figure out like what I wanted to do with my hair. But it's kind of nice, you know. If you guys want to see what I did, I'll put it in another video. But this is my hair. This is the reveal of what it looks like. Hi you guys, just a little intermission. I wanna thank Sempered for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with what Sempered is, they are a fragrance subscription service. I don't know about you guys, but one, I've been getting into perfumes lately. I feel like it's such a confidence boost when you smell good, and especially when someone comes in for a hug and they're like, oh my God, you smell good, what are you wearing? And I feel like now that I'm getting into perfume, Sempered is a great way because you get to try new designer perfumes every month for only $17. And you don't have to commit to buying a full size which can lead up to hundreds of dollars. Another really cool thing is Sempered carries up to 500 different scents in men's, women's, unisex. So the choices are pretty much endless. So when you get your Sempered in the mail, it's gonna come in this little twist bottle. It's so easy to use, and you can actually spray it from the bottle. You don't have to remove it. It's actually very convenient. And because of this twist, you don't have to worry about your scents leaking or spraying in your purse, and then you're wasting a whole bunch because it's safe at all times. You can remove it from the case, and you can actually switch it with different colors as well, which is also really nice if you don't like one color or if you wanna match it to your outfit, whatever you please. These bottles are eight milliliters liters which is supposed to last you up to 120 sprays aka 30 days which is actually perfect timing because that's when you're supposed to get your next perfume so I want to share with you guys what perfumes I got this month because I think I chose some really great ones this first one is commodity rain it is my favorite scent and I would have never found it if it wasn't for Sempered and I'm gonna go get the full bottle because I love it so freaking much it is such a fresh scent it's so it's like lightly feminine but it's not too it's not florally it smells just like fresh out of the shower that's what it reminds me of like just out of the shower you stepped out and you open the doors and it smells just like that my next one is the Burberry Brit Sheer 
This one, this one is very feminine to me. Very like I'm dressing up, going to a party. I feel very put together and pretty. And this last one is, I'm probably not gonna say the name right, but it's by Story Venezian, Venetian by Valmont, Just Bloom. This one, this one reminds me of my mom. I feel like it's such a more mature scent. I feel like it's very... It's still very feminine, but very like strong, independent feminine. That's what it makes me think of. I don't know. I think I chose some really great scents this month. I really, really, really highly suggest getting the Commodity Rain because it smells so good. And of course, Semperd gave me a discount code, Michelle, for 55% off your first month, which actually only brings it up to about a little over $7 for your first month. And thank you so much to Semperd for sponsoring this video. Hi, Cooper! Hello! Hello. We made it! Kindness, whoa, you whoa, guys. Whoa. Kindness. I know, baby. I know. Why We're baby? here. Clummy's here. Clummy's here. Everyone's here. You're so excited that she's here? Come say hi to the vlog, Mom. Uh -huh. I have something to show you. I'm scared. Why? <gasps> Don't be scared. She blow dried it, so it swooped a little bit, but it went down. Oh my god, sister. This is what I was talking. You guys have no idea. When were you here? On Two days ago. Wait, today's on Wednesday. Wednesday. And I was like, oh yeah, you should really cut your hair. And she's like, no. And I was like, oh my god, she's never gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad you did it. I made the appointment. So good. I made the appointment last time I was talking to her. Oh my god, I love it. See, don't you look like younger and fresh? I do you look younger. I love it. You like uh, it? 10 oh my inches. God, no, I really want to cut my hair. No, you're going to have long hair. I'll, I'll, I'll Enjoy play. your long hair. But if it starts looking flat. Yeah, no, no. And then we'll go. We, we're going to go. The, the girl cut it? Mm hmm Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Just get my ends cut. Oh, okay. No, yeah, she really did a good job. Yeah, it looks really good. Thanks, friend. Mm 
Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Uh, the host made us eggs. And... Just eggs. Eggs. Well, she made the rice yesterday. <laughs> leftovers. We're having leftovers. <laughs> I'm having Indomie because I was supposed to have it last time when I was babysitting the boys. And then I didn't end up doing so. So I've been craving it since then. Needs a little gravity, you know. Just, just, little, just, just a little. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so Kim's favorite candy or chocolate bar, right? It's your favorite. Mm-hmm. I okay. love it. Because I know you like Snickers. Snickers. I eat Snickers when I'm hungry. I'm like that person. Oh my gosh, she ate Snickers <laughs> on her way to Vietnam. <laughs> she had a huge bar, and she woke up hungry because she had skipped all the meals that they were giving in the airplane. I get nauseous. Yeah, she gets not Well, I don't know very many people who enjoy airplane food. Unless you're sitting first class, you lucky people. Unless you're first class or business. Um, economy, no. Um, <clears throat> and she woke up from her very long nap and was like, <laughs> Michelle, I'm starving. And then pulled out a Snickers bar and like shoved it down her throat. You ate it so fast too. Snickers is so good when you're hungry. And I also like Twix. Oh, Twix and, is good. And uh, Kit Kat. You know, I will so say, you like all of them? I like Baby Ruth. Oh, I like Milky Way too. What's Babe Ruth or Baby Ruth? Baby that Ruth. has peanuts, right? Babe? It has a bunch of peanuts inside. And caramel? Yeah. And I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Or what is it called? Payday? I don't care about Payday. Oh, I like Payday. Oh, actually, mm. Payday. I don't payday like. Payday is basically Baby Ruth just covered in chocolate. Mm. Oh. I can't do those. I don't like peanuts. What that is much. that one? I don't like the one that's in that yellow packaging. Butterfinger. Butterfinger. Oh, sometimes I like Butterfinger because it gets stuck on my teeth. I'm dead. I love Butterfinger. <laughs> I love Butterfinger. Really? Well, we yeah. get at Dairy Queen. Heath. He. I love Oh Heath. my god, Heath bars are so I want, good. I my want favorite, a Heath Dairy Queen now. My favorite chocolate bar is the Fast Break. Fast the Reese's I don't Fast know Break. About it. Oh. Oh. Heath bars looks like peanuts. You no, do. it doesn't have peanut. It, yeah, it's peanut buttery. Oh. But the inside is uh. It's um, it it, it kind of has the same texture as like the Three Musketeer. Oh, oh the Three Musketeer! Wow, I haven't had one of those in a long time. The inside of the Three Musketeer, I feel like it's too soft. And what boring. is it? Like it's a mousse? It's like oh, it's like moussey. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, the crumble cookie mousse uh, cookie this week was so good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having an almond joy for the first time in my adult life. I don't usually like um coconuts mm. the only reason i ever started eating coconuts was because of you yeah, i coconut. am adventurous that's so why they call me young coconut do i just eat the whole thing no i like to bite it oh like, you like biting it because you don't like coconuts i feel like you shouldn't eat the whole thing at once wow how cheap they only give you a little one almond because this is a mini version mom oh yeah when you get the normal one you get two mm. <clears throat> it's a it's a good pick-me-up right like you're craving a little dessert 
But it's not bad. This is my, this is my mom's favorite chocolate. This is also my mom and my sister's favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. But my mom also likes the mounds because it's the dark chocolate version of this. Mm. You like it? What do you think? It's not bad. I wouldn't necessarily choose it. Aww. Because I don't like the end and I don't like the flakes like that are um, left over. I love the flakes. That's why, huh? You like the flakes. But not bad. That's good. We are home. I'm so glad to be home. As much as I love spending time with Kim and Carlos, of course, at their place, I love being home. <sighs> Maiden drove us home. It was a good drive. It only took like an hour to get here. I'm very tired, but I do have to get to editing. I'm really excited because I'm posting my video that I cut my hair tomorrow. I'm not showing anyone my haircut, the final end, but I'm going to post it, which will, I hope you guys will enjoy or have enjoyed if you guys have watched it already. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to shower and I'm just going to relax. And it's going to feel so good. Nothing beats sleeping in your own bed. Um, I used to love sleepovers when I was little. No, first I used to be scared of sleepovers. And then once I was like a teenager, sleepovers were like everything. And then now in the past like year to two years, I love sleeping in my bed. I would rather leave wherever I am late and sleep in my own bed than not get to sleep in my own bed. But that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys like my haircut. It's here to stay. I will see you guys next time. Bye.